Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we go into the past to take a look at those crazy features from the 1980s and 1990s in Pro Engineer that PTC has decided to hide in the interface. Today we're going to take a look at the blend between surfaces. Again, if you want to be able to get to these commands, you have to change one of your config.pro options. Go to File, Options, Configuration, Editor, and that one is Enable Obsoleted Features. Change that from a No to a Yes, and then you'll be able to search for those commands in the command search, and then you could use File, Options, Ribbon, to customize your interface. Here is the common global tab. I've added a few additional groups in there and thrown the commands in there. I haven't bothered to give them new icons. So anyhow, blend between surfaces. This has a very specific use case. Here I have two different surfaces over here and I wanna create a draping surface between them. Let's go to the drop-down list. Now here's the thing, you can choose protrusion, cut, or surface. You can only create a protrusion between solid geometry and you can only create a surface between surfaces. The weird thing is, it won't allow me to create a surface between solid geometry. So anyhow, right now I have surfaces. Let's choose surface. Here's the dialog box. There's not much to this. You select one surface and then another surface. Let's hit the preview button. And there you can see the surface that will be draped between them. Sort of looks like a candy corn now. That's all that the feature does. Why do you need this feature? I have no idea. Maybe that's why PTC has hidden it. There are a bunch of rules regarding how, uh, how you do this. So for example, you have to have mapping, one-to-one -one mapping between one surface and the other surface. And the surfaces have to be inclined towards each other by a minimum of 30 degrees, whatever that means. In theory, you're supposed to be able to use this between circles, between spheres. I couldn't get that to work. Let's take a look at a, another thing that I noticed. I'm gonna delete this one out of here. I'm gonna change my two revolves to be solid geometry. Let's change that to a solid, and then change this one to a solid and then hit the middle mouse button. All right, so now they are my default part color. Let's try that again, blend between surfaces. Now I have the ability to do this as a cut. Uh, again, if I try to do this as a surface, it's not even allowing me to select this solid geometry, which is weird. So let me cancel out of there. Then let's go to this drop-down list, and I'm gonna create it as a protrusion. Let's pick one, pick the other, and then I'll middle mouse button to create the solid geometry. Same thing as before, except this is solid. What I'm gonna do is delete this, and let's then change this revolve. I'm gonna edit definition, and I'm gonna throw it into a different body. Let's go to body options, create a new body, and then hit the check mark or middle mouse button. So now here I've got body two, there I've got body one. I can set this as the default body. If I try to do it now, blend between surfaces and protrusion, pick one surface, pick the other surface, then click the okay button, it doesn't work. So it can't be between two different bodies. Not that it really matters, you know, who's using this feature anyway, but that's what it does. Uh, yeah, blend between surfaces. Go figure. Anyhow, I hope you are staying home. I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying safe. I want to give a shout out to some of our other different essential workers out there, uh, especially the people who are working in our sanitation crews who are still taking our trash away. I'd also like to thank our people in the public works who are keeping the water flowing to us as well.